Well, hey, everybody. Uh, welcome back. Uh, today, what I thought I could do for innovation is we would look at Tinkercad again. This time, though, we are going to look at playing with some circuits and electricity, which is fun to do in real life, but can sometimes cause unforeseen consequences like burnout LEDs or things getting hot that shouldn't get hot. So what we're going to do is we're going to do it virtually, and you can do that all in Tinkercad. So let's dive in and take a look at Tinkercad. So you can see this is the Tinkercad site. It's tinkercad.com. Uh, if you created an account already, you would click sign in. If you didn't, you would just click join now. I'm going to click sign in because I created an account. And you would sign in with Google. And if you were joining, you would join with Google. So we're going to click sign in. And it'll go through and ask you for your information about your Google account. So you would type in your email address. <clears throat> and then it would ask you about your password. And then when you're done, it's going to get you all signed into Tinkercad. And then once you do that, you have all the designs that you've worked on before. You can see some of the ones that we talked about the other day. Today, though, we're going to look at circuits. So I'm going to click on circuits. And you can see that I have already started working on some other circuits. I'm going to jump into this one. And hit tinker this. So. One of the things that um, is important to understand about working with circuits is that there's a certain order for putting things together. You can't just throw stuff together. You have to make sure things are connected in the right way. And there are certain components that do different things, and they do things um, in a particular order. So let's go through and start putting some things together. Now, you can always just play and put things together. Um, there doesn't have to be a particular design because again, it's not going to hurt anything if you're playing with stuff and it doesn't quite work. In real life, that's a little bit different. So we're going to play here. So in our Tinkercad, the first thing we're going to need is a battery. We're using a 9-volt battery. Um, the 9-volt battery is useful for most of the things that we do, but it's going to provide a lot of power so we have to be careful that we don't burn things out. And I'll show you what I mean. Suppose I take an LED and I put that in here and I'm going to connect it to my battery. And you can see that it lit up, right? And it's really, really bright. However, we can also see that the current through the LED is 915 milliamps, while the absolute maximum is 20 milliamps. Yeah, this is not going to work for our light. It's going to burn out. That's why it has that weird looking color to it. So I'm going to disconnect it. If this was done in real life, what would happen is um, it would like smoke a little bit, get a little hot, and then just not work anymore. So what I want to do is I want to put in a resistor. Now a resistor acts to reduce some of that electricity going to the LED. So I'm going to connect my resistor and I should always connect it into the hot so I'm connecting it into the wrong spot here. And you can see how I'm drawing these lines. I'm really just drawing them by clicking and drawing. So my resistor now, I'm going to delete this section, is connected to the power, the red, of my LED. And then I'm going to connect this to the other side of my resistor. So now between the power and my LED is, move this out of the way a little bit, this resistor. So now I'm going to reconnect that to the ground and you can see now the light lights up 
without any problems. Doesn't do with that weird kind of explodey looking thing. The other thing I have to be careful of with LEDs, I'm gonna stop my simulation here, is I have to make sure I don't connect the LED backwards. So for example, if I switch these and put this one, let me delete that, connection, if I can grab it, there we go, to the anode rather than the cathode, and then I swap this back to the other end of the LED and try it. Nothing happens, it doesn't light up. Well, let's talk a little bit about why that happens. An LED is what we call a light emitting diode. The diode part of that is the most important part because it means electricity can only flow in one direction. If you change the direction of electricity flow, it's not going to work. The electricity is just going to stop. So we have to go back to our diagram here and we got to fix it. So in my diagram, I'm going to go through and delete this one. And I always want the power going to the anode. And I like to think about it as an as in adding. So that's kind of plus. And plus is usually what we use for power. Delete some of these extra wires I just drew. Oh, it's getting crazy. Hang on. There we go. So I'm going to move this. Click on the wire first, disconnect it, and I'm going to put this on the cathode. And uh, this may sound terrible, but I don't really like cats a lot, so I kind of think of cathodes being negative, so like cats and negative. So the other thing I can do is use these controls up here to rotate things around. So I'm going to move my LED around so I can connect it a little bit better. And now I'm going to connect the other end of my resistor again to the anode because the power is going from here up to the resistor up to the light. And again, maybe I'll s rotate my battery around a little bit. And bring it over here. Well, that didn't help, did it? How about this way? I guess it won't. I guess I'm just going to have, have my wires crossed a little bit, <clears throat> which is fine. As long as they're not touching, it's okay. I mean, I guess I can maybe try to move this up here. That's better. Okay. And then we'll spin this around. No, nope, it's just going to want to sit there. Okay. So that's not too bad. <clears throat> so we can see the power goes to the um, anode because it's and, and the the ground, the black, goes to the negative, and it's that cathode, the cat, cathode. So we got our LED in there. When we start now, it's going to light up nice. So that's perfect. Now, what we could also do is if we wanted to, we could add in a button. And the button goes on the negative side of the connection. Um, we want to break um, the ground. You could also put it on the positive. Actually, let's put it on the positive side of the connection. So that way, we're breaking the positive. Uh, cars, you do it on the negative side, um, and uh, here we're going to do it on the positive side. So we're going to take this, connect it to there, connect that, and connect it to there. And now when I hit run, once I get it connected, you can see nothing happens unless I go over here and I click my button. And now I can turn my light on and off. Now I could also do it with a switch.
If you get caught on this wire and it kind of like wants to drag no matter what you want to do, if you press the ESC key, that makes it disappear. What we want to do is we want to click on it and then grab the circle. And I want to connect that to here. Click on it, drag the circle, connect to there. And then this, we're going to get rid of. So now, oops, wrong one. Put on that one. So now when I hit my switch, my light can go on and off. And I don't have to keep the button pressed. Now you might wonder, why are there three places to connect to? Well, I can actually use this switch as a three-way switch. So I can make it so it will either turn something on and off, or if I connect another thing to it, I can make it so it turns one on while turning another off. So it just alternates between the two of them. So that's what this other terminal here is for, if I wanted to connect another light up to that. So let's maybe let's go ahead and do that. Turn that a little bit. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect these lights up. And I'm going to put another LED in. And maybe we're going to change this color to green. So I'm going to again connect this one, which is my anode, which is my power. Oops, my anode to, do I have that backwards? I got something backwards. Oh, there we go. So my anode's getting through the switch. There we go. So connect my anode. This is going to be my power to the common. Come on, connect. There we go. And I'm going to connect my other terminal. Again, I'm going to need another resistor. Now the resistors, it doesn't matter what order you connect it, so you don't have to have a top and bottom. Oh, let me move you out of the way. There we go. Oh, I could connect it right on the end there if I wanted to, but that may be messy, so we'll put a wire. to see on here. Let me do it this way. Positive. To a resistor. Resistor. There we go. To the switch. Like that, and then common backs of that, and then we're going to connect. If I can move my light and see it, there we go. That's what I wanted. Then this is going to go back to my cathode, it's going to go back to my negative. Okay, start my simulation, and you can see now <clears throat> that the green light's on, and if I flip the switch. The red light goes on. Okay, so this is just an idea of how you can kind of play with lights and wires and it does get a little confusing once you put it all together. So uh, what I'm going to encourage you to do is I would like you to try to sign up for an account and set it up and then see if you can build a simple circuit with a LED and a resistor. Just those two things. 
and your battery. So you need the LED, the resistor, and the battery all put together to build your circuit. And then see if you can get it to turn on and take a screenshot and put it up to Seesaw. Let me see what you did. And feel free to change the color of the light. You can also change the color of the wires. Um, any one of those things uh, would be really interesting to see. And if you decide to build something else and just try to put stuff together, feel free to do it. It's not going to hurt anything. Uh, and this is the place to experiment with because it's really safe. And maybe in the future, uh, down the line, we'll do some more stuff with the rest of the class. Enjoy, and I will talk to you later.